Hey everyone, uh, welcome back and good morning. We are making more progress, guys. So actually, today's video, we're gonna be working on the power room. We're gonna go ahead and try to get this all squared away. Uh, so if you guys are unfamiliar, we are building a brand new off-grid home here. Um, the home is, you know, under progress, as you guys could see in here. Uh, the drywall is almost done, the plumber is done, so we can finally close everything off in mud and tape, sand everything down, primer and paint, right? Um, but today's video we're talking about the off-grid power room. This power room is going to be supplying all the power to the main house um, for, you know, lights, sockets, refrigerator, um, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, this is going to be powered with wind and solar. Uh, and it's going to have some pretty unique components and the way it's going to be connected and how it's all going to work uh, So, you know, we definitely need to get this um, finished Okay, I also have a video series on building the off-grid power room So if you guys haven't seen that videos, um, I have from part one, I believe all the way up to like part 20 uh, So definitely check out those videos guys uh, So in the last video on the update of the power room, um, we finally installed all the rest of the um, drywall um, so what I need to do is um, do three major things. Uh, I need to mud and tape and sand all the drywall so we have a nice finished walls in there. And then that way I can primer and paint, right? Uh, and then as far as the exterior, I just have to finish putting the trim on. And yesterday I actually went down um, to the other side of the island and looked at doors. Um, so I found um, two doors and I think I made a decision on one of them. Um, one of the doors is actually, it's going to be an all metal door, right? Just like my front door here, it's all metal. Um, but the middle of it is going to have one big piece of glass, right? And so what that's going to allow is going to allow a lot of light in, right? Um, because there's no windows on this and I didn't want windows on this f um, purposely so because um, uh, I planned on when I bought the door I was going to have a big window in it so I did find a um, door I think it's going to cost me I believe like 290 or 309 or something like that um, for that door which is not a big deal so um, I have that on mine so I think uh, the next couple of days I'm actually going to go back down there purchase it load it up and bring it home um, but I worked pretty late last night and so um, I didn't have a chance to load it up I went to go look at it and stuff, but not to load it up um, But anyway guys, um, I'm gonna run to the supply store and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up um, mud and tape um, You know and whatever else I may need to um, get this project underway today um, I'm getting really excited to um, start installing some of the goodies in here, um, but before we can get there um, You know we need to go ahead and mud and tape and, um, you know, take care of all the screws and make everything uniform in here, right? Um, and then that way we're pretty much ready for, um, you know, sanding and then primer and paint and stuff like that. Hey, everyone. All right, so I'm in the middle of mudding and taping. I'm um, taking a little break here. Um, <laughs> so I um, got that corner right there all squared away. Um, mudded and taped um, that one as well. So yeah, those two corners came came um, pretty nice. I'm trying not to lay too much because, like I said, less sanding, right? So um, this corner over here, um, I got I to gotta clean up at the top a little bit, but that's minor. Uh, so this corner is done. Um, I need to do this corner right here. Uh, then my four corners will be done. Uh, so, um, yeah, just want to show you guys the progress. This is what it takes to get these things done, you know. The, the ceiling will be fun. <laughs> uh, and then after the ceiling's done, then I can work on all the seams down here that's really easy to get to and work on, you know. Uh, so, yeah, just want to show you guys some progress. Um, yeah, you got to be careful, too, um, if you're not aware. <laughs> just like Bondo, uh, she'll, she'll set up on you if you're not paying attention. So, um, you know, make sure you got some water in there. Um, that way you can kind of keep it liquidy or, you know, you don't want it to be like, you know, watery, watery. But, um, you know, just keep an eye on your, your batch. If you have a bucket full of it, you know, ideally don't mix the whole bucket unless you're going to use the whole bucket, right? So only mix what you may think you're going to use, right? Uh, and then that way you're not wasting a whole bunch of material. And, um... Yeah, if you notice that you're taking a little bit longer on your joints or whatever, um, just double, you know, always just double check your bucket um, that you have mud in. That way, you know, it's not hard by the time you come back, right? Uh, and you can easily add more water to it and mix it up, you know what I mean? But you want to catch it before it gets hard, right? So just a little quick tip, right? Same thing like Bondo, right? As soon as you put that hardener in and you start mixing it, you better start using it, right? Because uh, uh, she will start setting up on you. In fact, you guys can already see um, the white 
The wider areas where, where it's where, you know, a lot thinner on the edges is already drying out. So she's drying as she goes in, right? Um, so yeah, she is already getting dry. Um, and that's another thing too, depending on the, the mud that you're going to use, um, uh, they have some, you know, they have all kinds of stuff out there, guys, but they have some that's like 20 minute, um, 40 minute, um, 90 minute, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, so just be cautious of the stuff that you're buying, um, because if you have a big area you have to cover and you're not burning through all the stuff you have, uh, she may set up on you um, quite quick, right? I mean, you'd be surprised. You're like, oh, you're in the groove. You know, it's not going to take me too long. And the next thing you know, you might have a, you know, big hard lump <laughs> in your bucket. Um, but yeah, just make sure you check your buckets, guys, and put water as needed um, just to kind of keep it, um, you know, um, workable. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to get back to work here. I need to finish this other corner and then work on the ceiling. And then, um, yeah, I'll give you guys more progress as it comes along here. Hey, everyone. Uh, we're back. As you guys can hear, I got the generator running in the background because I'm running these um, shop lights over here and they're not <laughs> energy efficient and they're not LED. I def They have some nice LED ones, but I just haven't upgraded or anything, you know what I mean? So these are my old shop lights and uh, I'd rather really not plug them into my solar system and just run it off the generator right now. Um, but anyway, we are making progress in the um, power room here, guys. As you guys can see, I got a little bit more done. Um, I actually only put like maybe an hour and a half of work in here so far. Um, I had lunch and then I was going to come out here and do some do some work, but I had some other priorities I needed to take care of. Uh, so I didn't get out here until, like I said, probably about what, 4.30, 5 o'clock. And right now the sun is pretty much almost gone, right? Uh, so I, ha I got the shop light out because I wanted to finish up this band over here and um you know keep going as far as i can um but considering you know i haven't run the generator in like god so long um i don't like running it anymore right and so i think actually i'm just going to shut it down and then tomorrow morning when the sun comes up and i have natural daylight um i can just continue you know there's no sense of just running the generator uh, that's the way i look at it but yeah we're coming together here guys i gotta finish up that strip over there finish up this strip over here and then just finish up the um, actual ceiling uh, and then um, we should be pretty much done. And then um, if I can tackle this early in the morning, guys, and get, you know, the rest of this done, um, then probably by the afternoon already, because it, it, this stuff dries actually pretty quick. Uh, so uh, maybe in the afternoon, I'll check, the, check it and everything, make sure it's completely dry. Um, and if it is completely dry, then I'll go ahead and do the, the second coat. And that's going to be the feather coat. So that way I can feather over a little bit wider. Um, you know, the, the, the wider the area that you make, you don't want it big, right? But you, you definitely want to feather out quite a bit. At least, I would say, mm, no more than 12 inches, right? Um, that way, when you look down the wall, when it's all painted, um, you know, your eye is not going to be able to focus in one spot because it's feathered over, right? Um, if you only stick with a small little spot and you paint, um, you're going to be able to see the, the shadow, right? You're going to be able to see that bump. Um, and there is always a bump because, you know, we have two pieces of drywall, you know, together, right? And then when you fill in that gap with mud and then you put the drywall, I mean, the tape on top of that, right? Um, but that, t that tape, you know, creates a small bump right and so you know you you kind of want to feather that out so that way uh, when it's all said and done um you don't see these um bumps you know what i mean so anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and turn off that generator call it a night and then i'll come back out here and continue um but yeah guys we are making some progress on this once this is done being mudded and taped guys it's just a matter of you know sanding whatever we got to sand down and then clean everything up in here primer and paint and then um, we're actually ready to start installing um, our goodies because I can install the flooring anytime, right? Because everything is being mounted on the floor. I mean, not the floor, on the wall. And so um, I'll have complete access to the floor, right? So it's going to be pretty easy. But I, just, I definitely want to start getting some things in here for sure. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the morning.